G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's fish room. Sorry if the camera's not very clean, but it's hard to clean it in the fish room. Um, so today I've made up a bit of a cichlid pack for somebody. And I also, I want to move some fish around. Um, and I might pull my air conditioner apart yet, if I have enough time. Um, the gyms are closed, so I've got an extra hour in the afternoons at the moment. And also, I don't even know if I'd feel up to going to the gym. Um, still feeling pretty shattered but anyway i want to show you this pack that i just made up um i'm i'm thinking about keeping this tank as a pack tank all right so part one of this was i started clearing this tank out i want to make this a male only tank um um, start feeding this tank the krill flake and see how they go on that. I really, I'm really eager to see how well the males pop feeding them the krill flake. And then this is the pack. So I want to keep this tank here as a pack tank. I think. So today, if the if the pack sells, I'll make up another pack. Um, I'll do a video and um, basically just make up. Uh, Hang on, let me get the squeegee. Uh, I, I decided to medicate this tank, guys, just to be safe because they were looking kind of a bit iffy. And because that tank's above it and I treated them, I decided to treat that tank. Um, so I actually started giving this tank a bit of a clean. I really want to get the barkeeper's choice out, but because this tank sits straight above the pond, I can't really use chemicals on it. But that that's pretty clean. Looks clean on video. Um, so how sick is this tank for um, a sales tank? So the reason I picked this one is it's a bit smaller than the other two. Um, so just the light penetrates it a little bit more. So from a photography stance, video stance to to sell the pack um, this is going to be it so one thing the only problem I've got here is I don't uh, is um at the moment I don't have a huge mix of Africans and the ones I am growing are the more expensive ones which makes it hard for to make these packs but I have got a heap of Mapanga growing out and oh guess what guys um, somewhere up here in the land of electric yellows there's an electric yellow holding which is exciting news because that means my younger generation is starting to breed um i've got to do some stripping look some of my younger um thingies marble peacocks are starting to hold i need to do a cull of this tank um i guess i kind of i need to do a cull of a few tanks but anyway point point is check so <clears throat> basically um, this guy was looking for a pack so I, I, I offered him this pack for $80 um, 20 fish for 80 but I don't know if I'd do it that cheap in the future I'd probably do it for a hundred advertised because look there's even there's a little buck of chromis in there there's um there's a mason reef as well that's a mason reef um like there's like even there's a couple of expensive fish in there but i had to do some variety that i've got a nakali in there cobalt blues marble peacocks a couple of assorted peacock females kind of like part of the deal of getting a cheap pack is i, I throw in a few random females um i can't just do a whole pack of all males like it would break the bank um but anyway, the marble peacock females, some of them get really like the. So, for breeding, I like using the marble peacock females with like lots of dots. But for display, the low spot females I reckon are not bad as a display fish. <clears throat> um, but anyway, that pack's made up. So, I need to clear this tank out. Um, so somebody actually asked in the comments the other day about the convicts 
Um, I've only got the girl left, so if anybody's got a convict male, um, it would actually be cool to get a male of a different bloodline, and then <laughs> I would have mixed bloodline convicts. <laughs> Imagine that, like putting that that much thought into a convict pair. Um, so, where is she? She's over here. I've got an empty basket I can put her in. I just, I'm running out of, I've got no room guys. I advertised the cobalt blues this afternoon, but I only put them on MeWe, so. Oh, this, this net is snapped, <laughs> so like. All right, let's not use that shitty net. I need a net sponsor. <laughs> In saying that, um, Morley Aquariums gives me these red ones for free, so I guess that kind of is a net sponsor. I kind of need to do like a bit of research into the whole sponsorship thing. I don't know, like, so I don't know much about it. So, like, obviously, I'm sponsored by Kareen Pet Central. I don't really know if me mentioning like Morley Aquariums is that like a no if they give me something is is that a no go as far as the sponsorship i don't know if anybody if anybody watching actually knows the nitty gritty about that let me know i can obviously talk to i can talk to like my sponsor about it um obviously ryan and wade at korean pet central they're chilled as chips and I know they'll just tell me like I can do whatever but I want to know from a third party that's not involved so like I get a is it unbiased opinion um, I never know like how to do videos of catching fish because do you guys find it interesting when I pull them pull them out and show you like there's a I don't know if that's a girl or a boy. These are both nice fish actually. That's a boy. That can stay in there. This one can go in here. So it's just going to be a whole lot of sorting guys. And then... So I think I've explained this to you guys before. The reason I want to sort them like this is because this is the first tank you see when you walk in. A couple of little marbles, they can go in there. Um, so there's two, there's a couple of reasons that I want to make this tank male only. A, it's the first tank you see when you walk in. Um, and B, is the, is the tank, that's the same bloody fish, it's the tank I put my egg tumblers in. It's a decent looking little girl. Um, so I want just like five to ten males in here so that way the bio load that one can be food. The bio load will be less for the egg tumblers because when you have a lot of bio load the egg tumblers um, get fungus eggs a lot more often. Close your eyes if you don't like culling guys. Um, the reason I'm culling them is because basically the size of them, if they're in this tank and they're only three centimeters, they're pretty much stunted. I think the flower horn breeder in me is probably a little bit harsh on the Africans. The other problem I've also got is there's mixed females in here and I don't know if some of them might be Benga. So I'm not keeping them the silver females. Once again it's just too risky. I don't know what they are. Anyway, this tank's turning into a shambles, so I'm gonna do it off camera guys. Alright, so I got completely sidetracked and um, started pulling my air conditioner apart. This is just a bit of context for the next clip.
Alright guys, so I pulled it apart, um, I switched all the breakers off and all that jazz and then um, I, I, I had to actually take the motor out to get the serial number off it which sucks. Um, but I figured out what motor I need, um, it's really simple to get to. Turns out these air conditioners are so basic, like if you're an aircon dude, um, you, you know the drill but there's just that tiny little power module on the side there which is obviously your fan controller and like your temperature control and all that jazz and apart from that it's just a grill with a fan behind it and then behind all that is all just plastic um, I don't know if it's going to turn on without the front on that's a negative so we've got to put the front back on to turn it on which is annoying all the screws are sitting on the front um, all right uh, I guess I'm gonna put it back together I was gonna kind of leave it apart but it's probably a bad idea to leave it apart we're in a fish room I've got open power there definitely a dumb idea so I'm gonna put that back together anyway I'm gonna wrap that video up there um, I'm gonna get I've got my all male tank now we're gonna start feeding them um, community crave can you the lights not very good sorry guys community crave and krill flake so I'll probably feed this like twice a week and I just want to show you guys the results and see how it goes um but anyway I gotta get this aircon done because I'm low-key stressing about it it's like five to six degrees at night and I've just decided to pull the heater apart I do have a backup heater in the back shed so absolute worst case scenario we can do that um, I do need to set up a fan in here if you live in Perth and you have one of those square fans do you know you, they're square they're about 50 mil thick maybe a little bit thicker where the fan is and they've got the front on them that rotates if you've got one of them hit me up so I can buy it because the problem with the middle of winter is I can't buy a fan <coughs> and I want to put a fan back up here but I need one of those flat ones. Um, they're probably, they're square. They're probably like 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Oh no, they'll be smaller. The, the total size would be like 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. The actual fan is 30 centimeters, I believe. Um, if you know the fan I'm talking about, you know. And if you've got one that you want to sell to me, hit me up. But anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.